little bit of luck in uh, the last couple of weeks going up against the Saints. Jameis Winston decided, you know what? I'm actually prime Brett Favre. Well, I wouldn't even say prime Brett Favre. I'm like, you know, I can't. I don't really care Brett Favre. Throwing billions of picks. I think we had three pick sixes in that game. Still barely won it. And then last week, kind of choking a little bit, against a team that had no DeAndre Hopkins, no Kyler Murray, and hell, even Colt McCoy was injured. Of course, Chris Streveler was pretty decent. We'll put a little respect on his name, just a tiny bit. But now... We are going to have a bloodbath in week seven as we are going to the Chargers in SoFi Stadium. Maybe the breakout running back. Break out running back. Kenneth Walker with a breakout running back chance. A lot is on the line in this game as, of course, we are ahead of the Rams and Niners and Cardinals because this division is awful somehow. We'll take a look at the players of the week. Aaron Rodgers, the Rams, even though they're losing a lot of games. Two picks for Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> Rams? Uh, kind of a weak one. Except for Lamar Jackson, actually. Six total touchdowns, 450 yards. Holy crap. That's actually an insane game. Of course, our team. The disaster team. The team of disaster. Despite the fact that we're 3-3. Three and three. I don't want to be super pessimistic about it, right? But 3-3 three and three may be the best we see this year. But you never know. Once again, we do have talent. We have offensive talent. Fant's great, even though he dropped a lot of passes recently. Metcalf's amazing. Lockett's amazing. Walker's like playing like the best running back in the league. Lock is improving slightly. The O-line we don't talk about. Defensively, you know, we got some DBs. We got some playmakers. It's the team that could actually be super sleeper. And so far, we are kind of proving that right. But... It's the Chargers. It is a tough, tough team. How do you feel? I don't know. I think he's okay. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think this Kenneth Walker guy is going to be the future. But if he gets a dev up, that's kind of cool, I guess. But what do you think? What do you think I think about him? Obviously, I think he's great. And, of course, uh, speaking of a player that we think is great, Justin Herbert. This is going to be... I mean, can you, like, who do you who do you stop? Because Eckler's a great threat out the backfield. The deep pass is a threat. The medium pass is a threat. Can we even cover these receivers? I don't know. SoFi Stadium. The glass miracle. It's literally all glass. It is just, it is, it is just, it's something. All right. Okay. It's, it sounds like me testing someone's diamond ring. <laughs> but of course, uh, it's a sick stadium, I suppose, with a nice ring TV that may not work, but Gonna be honest with you, if you're a Seahawks fan, uh, show you know showing up to this game, you may not want to look up, but we'll see. As of course, once again, we kind of talked up the team a little bit. We just behind closed doors, we talk about, man, we're we're in some we're in a bit of a bad spot, because <laughs> of course we're in like a team that's showing a ton of heart and we're winning games, yet we really need to be losing games for a damn quarterback. But you know what? If things are going well. I'm not here to stop that. Oh my god. With the Cardinals. Seven points. Giving up 38 to the Saints. I mean, to be fair, we probably should have done the same with, uh, you know, not allowing them to score. But, you know, we are who we are. And speaking of a guy who is who he is, Justin Herbert, what are those numbers looking like? Uh, oh. Okay, maybe we got a chance. What is with everyone playing against us? Their season suck. If you have the Seahawks on the schedule, you're likely not a good team. It's just, I don't know how it is. It's, it's just the way it is this season. It's just happening. Don't know how, don't know why, but here we are. First and 10, going to go for the Blitz early. And Eckler only going to gain, th well, actually, three on a Blitz is not bad. Season stats looking pretty decent. Last week, pretty decent as well with the touchdown specifically. And overall, I mean, a plus guy, right? 4.5 yards per carry about, it seems. Math is not my strong suit, though, so maybe it was like 3.8 for all I know. Pretty sure it was 4. Point. Hey, get up there. Taking the shot. And Keenan Allen does what Keenan Allen does. Nice. <laughs> Lovely. I thought we were in pretty good coverage. That result was not preferable. Are we really ready to stop a potential pass? We did pull off Barton. Go to the running back. Barton with a nice hit. That man, he's sneaky strong, dude. He will throw you to the ground and do things. 
That's not really what I meant, but you know what I mean. Puna Ford, not really going to get it. And there goes Barton again. Looks like he was about to get his tackle broken, but got a little bit of help. And, of course, we'll force the third and five as my man's Barton kind of going off. Let's go to Kobe Bryant. Inside, that is a nice route. And even better is Keenan Allen. Uh, Quandre Diggs is kind of selling a little bit. Let's see the pre-snap read. It was a good route for that. But, like, if you look at Quandre Diggs, he has no one else to cover. Who is he waiting? Well, I guess he does have to step up on Eckler. Yeah, that's a tough beat. That's a tough beat. I'm actually going to blame that whole entire thing on Cody, uh, not Cody Parton, uh, Jordan Brooks. Or the defensive coordinator, the guy that called, you know, the cover two there with the three receivers on the side. You know, I mean, him, maybe. Uh, but Jordan Brooks on the field, I suppose. And speaking of Kenneth Murray, fall down. We are not going to be breaking tackles with Goodwin. No, we're not doing that. And uh, there's no, oh, okay, it is, it is Drew Lockett quarterback. I see Noah Fant there. I was like, and... I mean, it's not looking great, even though it's improving for Locke, but I don't think it's that desperate. And I kind of forgot how good their pass rush is. This could be a tough game. But Kenneth Walker's going to find room to the outside. Cuts inside, can't get it. Just go down, gains about 11. Just 139 more to go, baby. And with their pass rush and the fact that they added, uh, you know, J.C. Jackson and they have Derwin James and whatnot... The run game in general might be needed to try and win this game rather than, you know, just trying to get it for the breakout, you know? And, of course, that man's back at it again, looking great. Dretch look again. Uh, of course, Mac is a great player, and he's hyped to be on a team that has a chance to do some damage. Yet it won't matter as Kenneth Walker's going to fall forward for a gain of nine. Nice running. Got to give some to the blockers, too, though. Really good blocks early on. First and ten, going to have to test the pass blocking for the first time today, though. As we're in a little bit of trouble. And that's going to be picked off by J.C. Jackson. I mean, that's great coverage. Don't get me wrong. But I thought we could fit that in there. Might have been a little behind him. I mean, it's not like... It's not the greatest. Right? Maybe could have went for Kenneth Walker uh, right out the gate as Kenneth Murray is chasing him. But, yeah, that ball's mad behind him. If he, if he leads him... There's a chance, but that's just a bad read. And it begins. <laughs> of course, it's not as bad as some of the other interceptions we've had for sure, but it's still not, like, preferable because it's a pick regardless of how you want to look at it. Brooks and Barton taking him down, but that's still going to be a gain of nine as they've got a lot of oh, Barton in coverage against Keenan. I mean, did we not see what he did to DBs on the team? Oh, Woods making a play. Step up. Eckler gaining down to the 27 yard line herbert five for five almost 100 yards already i mean what it must be like to have a quarterback then throw a perfect spiral or throw to the right team in general i suppose that you know that's always nice too in general uh, of course first and ten got digs up in case it's a run but we can back off if we have to if they throw the play action and that's why you bring digs up who absolutely kills eckler Look at him go. As far as, like, tackling ability goes, Diggs is, like, the perfect specimen for it. Like, he is, like, he's tiny, but he's able to just get hit. You just, thank you, Jamal. Get, like, all of his body into him. And once again, you know, there's just no way of getting around it without it being sus, okay? It's just, yeah, he got he gets his body into other men. What, what do you want? Cody Barton gets, I don't even know what kind of attack that was, but absolutely destroyed. Look at this. Look at Cody Barton. I mean, because uh, his own guy kind of gets in the way. He trips over his own guy. Oh, he never even got touched by him. All right. Isaiah Spiller with a gain of about five. I don't even remember them running five times, but apparently they have uh, five to five running to pass ratio. It goes Keenan, no shots. Good teamwork. Don't know how Jamal isn't taking him down one-on-one, -on -one, but it's always nice to have a buddy. And, one, you know, depends on what kind of buddy you want, I suppose. Barton inside does a pretty good job, but Eckler doesn't get tackled. And Wosu takes advantage of that, though, and is now a third and eight. They are going empty, so we are going to try our best to not give up. We, we do kind of need a little bit of pressure, though. Brooks getting locked up underneath. That will be a stop, though. Okay, so forcing them to a field goal. That's a win. Chip shot field goal, let him, you know, mind you, but still, it's not a touchdown unless they fake it, which they thankfully do not. Man, where is the clock, dude? It is literally good gone already oh no fall down i'm not fighting it 
Man, we're gonna I we're not gonna get three touchdowns, but like that might be the only way to get this thing. They really don't want us to run it because they know what we do when we pass the ball, and that is lose the game simply. Put Please hit that. Thank you. That's a really good throw by Drew Locke. I was worried about somebody coming away with a pick there, but that is a good play. It was a good read with a bunch of traffic there. Maybe there was some quick throws in there. Lockett might have actually been uh, open early. Oh, decent blocking. Nice fight. Gains about nine. Once again, it's not just about the breakout. It's also about the fact that we're going to need Kenneth Walker if we're going to have a chance to win this game. Cut back. Maybe a little too hard, but a first down's a first down. Gains four. But yeah, that clock is really moving. Of course, not really many incompletions from them and you know, a lot of runs from us. Kenneth Walker, there he goes again, fighting for a gain of about 14. Like I said, I'm trying to build him up as a power back because he has that potential, and you can see why. He is a bowling ball to the right. Two seconds left. Bosa doing it. Ah, come on, block. Nice truck, but also gets hit stick, loses a yard. Second quarter, very fast first quarter, I'll tell you. We're going to get aggressive here, of course. We are a run-first team for the most part, and play action here after some success. Could be the way to go. That's a tough throw and under pressure, he's not going to hit it. I did give a look to Metcalf, but it just, I never really liked it. Do we trust the one-on-one -on -one with Metcalf? I mean, it's just like it might be the only option. going to audible this out a little bit. And that's a tough one. Once again, not going to be able to get it to lock it. That's going to be a field goal. One for four for Drew Locke. Definitely not looking great, but once again, we're going against maybe the best pass rush team in the league. We start out with a nice little uh, penalty. First and five. I'm sure that they won't take advantage of this at all. They are going to run it, thankfully. Shelby Harris. Huge hit. Best player of the trade. That's going to be the meme. One day, we'll get that trending on Twitter. But to be honest, he'll probably retire of old age in real life before we get that trending. Uh, underneath, Coleman. Coleman has a pick six this year. He could have added to the list. But he sells. I wanted Bolden as... Okay, whatever. I really wanted Bolden to be the guy. Oh, laid off the line. Slant. Oh, we switched to the wrong guy. Oh, that works, though. See, I mean... Jamal Adams has the heat seeker. He was there before. The number 14 didn't realize that's where he was going to go, but, you know, Jamal's been around the block. Number 14 is Odell Beckham. How is that fair? This team is even better than we thought. That's great by us. The How does he get that in? Mike Williams finally getting involved, and I thought we were going to pick it. I, I don't understand how he gets that in there. Bro, my man threw it behind us. And I don't know why I said my man, my freaking lifelong enemy now. Herbert has become enemy number one. Diggs, reading it perfectly, but missing the tackle. But guess who? Guess who? A player. I don't even know who that was. I think it was Puna Ford. It wasn't, it wasn't even Shelby. Second and eight. Trying to drop back. And, of course, we're not going to be there. Keenan Allen down to the three. 9 for 10. Once again, this isn't your local grocery store. This is a completion percentage, and it makes me sad. First and goal, Cody Barton. That's too easy for Cody. Cody Barton is, once again, a very underrated player. I don't know who they think they're trying to trick here, but it sure as hell ain't going to be Cody Barton. Diggs playing that traditional deep safety role right now, and under pressure. Great defense by Jordan Brooks. No shot you're getting in that on us, and I... Really got through that one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. We don't have the look. I couldn't call a timeout. Where am I? It's all right. It's all right. We can we can still win. Yeah, we still win the rep. Who cares? Shelby! Shelby Harris, the GOAT. Those DBs and linebackers must have been on God mode because we were not ready. Of course, we did bring five anyways, I'm pretty sure, but regardless, that's great coverage. I mean, that's good. That's good work. All right, back to the ground game, bringing the stretch to uh, Mr. Mac, I think. Oh, no, that's Joey Bosa. My oh, man's got a mad tan, which is borderline kind of racial. It's not what I meant, but you know what I mean? Going to be canceled. 2022, you can't, you can't say a word. There's just no words. Like, at all. Like, any words. <laughs> Kenneth Walker. Oh, look at him go for six. We got to get it. Like, he's our boy. He's our man's. Like, I'll honestly feel... Like, I've let him down beyond belief if we do not get this 
scenario for Kenneth. Slowing down. Oh, still up, though. Didn't really go the way we thought. I thought that lineman or whoever that was that we were following was going to make a mad block on Derwin. But Derwin had other plans. But it worked out, I suppose. Double move for Lockett, but really just kind of looking for just anything in the play action. And that is more than anything. That is DK Metcalf taking on a hit. We're at the middle, of course. They have a very, very weak interior. So we can try to exploit that. Obviously, so do we, ironically enough. Uh, as we gain a yard. 66 yards. He's not technically on par, but he is still having a really good game early. There's DK Metcalf again. Drops it. Really? I just feel like at this point, with the way DK is developed and how good he is with that kind of stuff, that we just don't even have to worry. And the run play is just not... Like, if it's an inside zone, maybe. But it's like... Not... Oh, that's going to be a pick. Why would we test Derwin? Really good tackle by Fant, but why would we test Derwin? I was like, okay, if we're going to force this, it's going to be to DK or Fant. And I was like, I forced it a few times to DK. It's not gone well. That's even worse. They literally tell us that there's a superstar underneath. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is perfect coverage, but we should just stepped up and threw it away. Like, maybe you get Lockett there, but, I mean, there's really just nobody open. Still stupid, though, throwing a pick. I thought we were done with that, I, you know? Thought we were done with throwing interceptions? I guess not. Down by 10. I mean, we're throwing picks against the best team we faced all year. Quick throw underneath to Odell, which is just lovely. Never know. This could literally be the team that actually signs Odell as well because you know, he wouldn't have to be the number one yet again and... It worked out for him before, and so far working out for him here as well. Of course, on the ground, doing a very good job of limiting Eckler. But you just know us. We usually let one big run in per game. We got to go deep. I mean, it's like you're leaving the tight end open, but it's either you gain nine or you give up 30. You know what I mean? Like, it's I'd rather give up nine every day of the week. We're trying to mix it up. We're trying to do what we can, but honestly, we're just outmanned at this point. The fact that we're even stopping Eckler is just like a bigger win than I would have even expected today. The running back is open. Nobody's there. He's going to take the shot. And everything is caught. I get it. It is Mike Williams going against Coleman. But please, think of the young Seahawks fans. Think of the children. Mafe doing a pretty good job there, but not good enough. Damn, dude. At first, I was like, it wouldn't let me challenge. I was like, oh, the game's just like, yeah, you're screwed. Don't even worry about it. Get in there, Jamal. And Odell down to the one. I mean, do we call a timeout? I guess we'll call a timeout. We really need to score before half if they score a touchdown here. But yeah, it's two-minute warning, so obviously you don't challenge it. It just goes to the booth. Thought maybe the ball, you know, maybe bounced off the ground. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Wishful thinking. Maybe should have ran commit. It's just they have so many receivers there. Yeah, this isn't looking good. You know, like I said, I don't want to be too much of a Debbie Downer, but like... There is a significant difference in roster talent with this team and the previous teams we have played. Fant, that's a tough throw, but it's a really good one. And look at Fant go. If Kenneth Walker would have been a little bit more aware there, we would have actually maybe scored a touchdown from there. That is insane. It's a really good job. Oh, that is a wide-open Tyler Lockett. All right. I mean, I was kind of thinking, like, go out of bounds, but... Inbounds and wasting a timeout when we're, you know, precious on time is... It's all right, I guess. I'm sorry, Kenneth. I know you're, you're trying to even tell us, hey, run some plays with me in it. But, like, this is time-saving time. That is a pretty good throw. And, of course, we go for a jump ball. We can't come down with it. Just always, always the way, huh? No point in running it. But once again, I really want this scenario. Under pressure... We waited as long as we could, and there was just nobody there. Lockett could be nice. They do have Derwin over there, it seems. That's a close call, and I think, yeah, they're going to call a timeout. If we had more time, I think I'd go for this. We might still. Fourth and inches is, like, guaranteed. But at the same time, if I'm going to run to get it, we're going to have to use the timeout, probably. Screw it, we're going to go for it anyways. Get, get him. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up to the line and spike it. It worked. I mean, it's such a risky call, and they obviously had to play off a bit. I think the situation definitely benefit us, right? I think when you're looking at the situation, they can't 
play run defense. Because if they do and then we throw it, we get gutsy because we're down so much, they look so dumb. We're taking that. Metcalf holds on to the one. What a catch. Is that on Derwin as well? I think this risk is worth it, but we got to make sure we don't get sacked or anything. Got to go five wide. I mean, they know you're not going to run it. And I know, who's oh, Yooks throwing at the one-yard line? Lol. It's like, I know, I get it, but it's the smart call. And Bo Melton touchdown. That is the risk, reward, payment. The pain of not being able to get Kenneth Walker a damn touchdown here at the goal line with one yard away is so, so bad. Was that Joey Bosa playing damn near perfect coverage against a guy with like 15 speed more than him? All right, I mean, the game's not over. Halftime score of 20 to 10. We get the ball. It's anyone's game still. This huge good recovery. I mean... That stand-up tackle crap needs to be removed out of the game now. Like, yesterday, to be honest. Like, I'm not pressing A there at all. Like, I have a, no A button in mind when returning the ball with Goodwin. So the fact that he fumbled was all on him. I mean, I had no chance to recover. I had no chance to slide, dive, do whatever. And, okay, go go down. That one I did, I'll, I'll admit. It's just tough because, like, you know, you're trying to make a tackle. Trying to break a tackle. Throw it away. Hopefully not grounding. Once again, perfect coverage from a linebacker. There goes Lockett. We actually led that ball. Poor accuracy, my booty hole. That was perfect. I led that in everything. It was maybe a little behind him, but like in the grand scheme of like where the ball was placed, it was great. As far as where I was aiming, maybe a little bit, but... And there goes Lockett again. I mean, they are playing off on him. He's got a bit of speed, and he's a really good route runner, but like... You got J.C. Jackson. You got to be a little aggressive. If you're not, I'm going to keep taking it. Second and five. Decent chance to run the ball. And really good block by Bo Melton, which will put us about the first down. They will give it to us. We got to try to find more trap plays because that's really where we've succeeded. They got players on the wrong side, so maybe. And we'll take that gain of five. It's all right. Maybe six. Don't want to just run them into the ground. But once again, we are trying to get the scenario. We are trying to win the game. This is maybe a little iffy of a call, and Kenneth's going to gain most of that. Third and one. Third and one from the 48-yard line. Who do you call on but Nickel? I mean, Penny. Lol, that's funny. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Right over Kenneth Murray. Guess who? The perfect guy to run over in a game like this where we're trying to go for a Kenneth Walker scenario. Go to the outside. And we bat. Oh, my God. And there goes Khalil Mack trying to break it for a touchdown. No buttons you can do there to save it. And I just recently jumped the fumble sliders by 10. Of course, that may have been Derwin as well. Was that Derwin? It was. Of course it was. That could literally be game. Three turnovers. I mean, every game you... Th I mean, Coleman? It's a good tackle attempt. Down to the 10, which is okay, because that's actually a spot where we could probably make the stop. Okay, bring in a lot of players, but obviously not going to be, you know... I need that drop back hard from Coleman. Can't get burned twice. Underneath, that's really good. Touchdown, Keenan Allen. Uh, once again, the safety's not doing their job, specifically this time, Jamal Adams' fault. I mean, we have no one but to blame but ourselves. I mean, it's just, simply put... And on top of it, we're probably not going to get our damn scenario either. Although, <laughs> even with the fumble, he's, he's playing pretty well here. Almost 100 yards on the ground. And I don't think he has anything in the receiving game, in fairness. But still, look at Bosa, dude. Look at Bosa making it nearly impossible. We did get five, though. And Bosa, going against the double team, gets hurt. Screen pass. Uh, I don't know how that is. It's hard to see, but that is Mr. Khalil Mack. Oh my god, that's a fumble. Get up, Walker! Why did he dive? I guess we don't want to lose it. They're going to count that as a run. So he lost the yard on it. Sweet. Let's go short out with uh, Kenneth. And I can't believe he actually covered that and we drop it. I see. I get it. Like, they're probably not going to have Mac running across the middle of the formation. But I seen him step that way, dude. And of course, he leaves them. Like... 
And I'm not going to blame the breakout on, uh, you know, if we lose this game, which we're looking kind of likely to do. So I'm not blaming the breakout. It's just the team turning the ball over too much. Good work by the linebackers. Doing a really good job on uh, Eckler on the ground, which, once again, kind of opens up that chance to maybe make the comeback if they're going to be trying to waste the clock here with the ground game. That was a good fake out, and they don't need to waste the clock because they could just score more points. Why not? It's not even like Herbert's doing a crazy great job. He just has so many open players. It's insane. Unsane, even. Deep back up. And that is a no-man's land ball. Left guard is now injured for the Chargers. Let's actually see how Herbert handles a little bit of pressure. Doesn't need to. He's handing it off. <laughs> of course, we'll take that, though. That's a good stop. Also, kind of out of field goal range. Not that the field goal really changes a whole lot if they do to get it. Bring Jamal Adams up. Have Diggs playing mid to deep. That wiggle route was nice. And that double move was nice, too, and he still sees it. But Tariq Wollen gets back in time and knocks it away. Unleashes it, but slightly underthrown and forced to jump up is Odell and hit hard by Wollen from the 43-yard line. Got to make sure they don't fake it or anything like that. And the punt is going to be pretty damn good, actually, I think. And not really. To the 18. Kenneth Walker exactly 100 on the day. 50 more, please. Just let us have one big run. And, I, you know, I know we're not supposed to talk about it out loud, but I'll, you know what? We're just going to we'll throw the game for you. Not that you probably need it. And we got to fight it. I, I hesitated there because I just I have PTSD from every single fumble involved in a tackle battle. But, like, you got to fight that, right? Like, you, you can't hesitate. Because we probably would have fumbled anyways. And that's a good read. There goes Bo Melton to the 41, getting popped though, 42 maybe. Back to the inside zone. I'm not really feeling it to be honest, but we're going to try it. And I mean, Kenneth Walker has been guaranteed like five or six a run. We just got to get enough runs to get to that 150. Kenneth to the outside. Bosa getting pretty good push, but not enough. Is Kenneth going to gain another six? Wham! Wham! name of the play oh my god anyone want to play defense of their of our life defend our life please play action with Lockett trying to drag out uh JC that's not Jesus Christ by that's JC Jackson nice play for Bo Melton and we are not gonna fumble again to Derwin good play good play we take that that's that's a really good throw with once again a guy about to murder Drew Lock not bad stretch to the outside good blocks Spin move inside, that was maybe not great. Spin move, his spin and juke isn't bad. Maybe that's just a me problem. We really don't have the play we want, but we're just going to have to run it to try and, you know, utilize that clock. There you go, Penny. Oh, huge hit by freaking Derwin. Looking at the game, you know, we look like we should be winning. You know, we're kind of controlling the game better than them. Of course, once again, our pass numbers suck as they always do, but... Besides that, I mean, we are controlling the game way better than them. This could even be a touchdown. This is a really good setup. Can't get it there. We try to outrun Khalil Mack. What a terrible decision. Does set this play up a little bit better if that is what we're going to try to do. Actually, we're going to run it. I know it's this seems like a super sellout for the damn scenario, but it will get a lot of the yards back too, it seems. Or the blockers aren't going to do anything, but Kenneth is still going to make a decent play out of it. 25 yards left to go. And we're going to run a screen pass. Uh, kind of like the left side more. I think there's a little bit less talent on that side of the ball. Although you can see that there's... They kind of have it ready. They have it sussed out already. Not a great throw, but it's all right. Kenneth tries to make it. That's a nice little cut move. Gains five, so now 20 yards away. I mean, oh, damn it. Fourth down. Of course, that sack kind of, like, killed the drive regardless. Really thought we were going to get about 10 on that run, but since we didn't, third and 15 is so hard to convert anyways. Don't turn the ball over like we have plenty of times in this situation this season and give ourselves a chance at the scenario because after an eight-yard run, this game's over. <laughs> it's not looking good, but I'm going to bring the blitz mid. We might bring Diggs as well. Now we got to cover. Come on, Diggs, please. Good hit by Sydney. Oh, my. That would have been a huge loss. We're bringing a bunch of players. No Mike Williamson on the play, but that's okay for them. That's a good stop. 
That's our ball, fourth and inches. They can't go for this. Up 14, they cannot go for this. They have to punt this ball. Run game in general has been great for us. The stretch game's been pretty good, which is surprising. Bosa and Mac. I mean, I wouldn't say getting handled, but they're doing all right. There you go. Kenneth showing the burners. Gains 12. Only a few away. And this is a deserved performance. I mean, he's killing it. And, I mean, it's been a stacked box for the most part, even though we're down a ton. Kenneth. Ah, oh, fumble. Fumble? <laughs> I don't know I said fumble penalty. Almost was, in fairness. We got stood up. We can't come this close and not get it. First and 17 is a risky decision to run. But if we just block a little Mac, maybe not. We got five... Let's see who's open, see who's not. That's kind of how it goes. It's actually a really good route by Kenneth Walker, in fairness. Like, he was burned out the gate. He gained a lot there. He's like eight. Bo Melton is absolutely our guy here. Let's run this. No, we already ran this before. Let's get a block from Kenneth. Screw it. Bo. Bo! Nice catch. I thought that was going to be picked. Thought it was going to be swatted. It was actually just a really good throw to Bo. Get the linebacker up. I don't think they actually cover uh, Lockett here. I really don't. I also got to take whoever's open. If they're going to give me Fant, I got to take him. That's a really good throw over Derwin as well. And they might be giving us the scenario here because this looks open. It's pretty open. I think that's the scenario. Of course, no longer really the focus. I want to run this a little bit shorter for Walker because we might be able to set Metcalf open. Oh, my. Look at Bo. Damn. That's not even Bo. That's uh, Lockett. He was burning. What happened? Comeback route from Metcalf turned into... Let's actually run a fade, which should be a little bit better. Uh, I don't like it too much. We should have taken him. Damn it. We should have taken Metcalf. He burned him, pretty sure. I didn't see... See, I look at this. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing... Pretty good matchup. And I look away, and then I look back, and I realize the corner stumbled. He's still in pretty good coverage, but we throw the fade maybe. Lockett's not open. Kenneth's pretty covered. I mean, I, I think we actually made the right call. Come on, Fant. Drag this out for Kenneth to be open. Yes. Kenneth on fourth down. Going to take that for a lot of yards and out of bounds to the seven. That's a tough read to Metcalf. I want Bo starting out this side here. Freed up a little bit. Throw low and almost picked. Threw that B low as hell and it still kind of worked out for him. All right, Metcalf, this is you. Lock it. Oh my god, we have to cut it back inside because once again, Cross can't block a damn soul, man. Soul, man. I'm soul, man. I'm losing it. I'm, I'm actually losing my mind. We got to throw it. Metcalf holds on. Touchdown. It's a great throw by Drew Locke. It's great anticipation. Thought the guy was going to step in. He just waited there for some reason. I don't know if he was looking for the running back, but we got a shot. Do they? Look at look at this. Do they not realize what down it is? First and 10. 240. They're up 7. I actually had to look at the score because I thought maybe for a second I sold. Oh, that's wide open. That is wide. That's us. Wollen get the... Oh, my. To the 50. Nice. Might as well have went the damn onside kick. I mean, who expects that, though? Like, who honestly thinks that they're going to throw the ball there? Like, really? I guess the game, I suppose. The game definitely thought. Should have just went with them. They know better than me. Jamal fighting hard. Good tackle by Cody Barton. First down pretty much wins them the game. Especially since the first down would set up a field goal, most likely. I will say the blitzes out of the 3-4 do look really good for stopping the run in general. Uh-oh. I say... <laughs> oh, no. I jinxed it. We might have to just go goal line, to be honest. It's at this point, they don't even really need to gain yards. It's really just about running. Brooks, Barton, good tackle. Last time out, so at very best, we would have like 20-some seconds, but obviously, I will take 20-some seconds rather than none when you're offered that good stuff after a night at the bar. Barton, that's an amazing play by us. I mean, we're, we're expecting that maybe they could hand that off, but I was like, you know what? If we don't cover this guy, 
this is going to be a huge play for them. Run commit. Brooks, that's a really good play. That could make things interesting. That's a long field goal. That is a long field goal. I'm just telling you. Come on. Block it. Timed it perfectly. And of course he nails the kick. Ah, that's kind of sad. That's a really good kick. We almost got there, dude. It was close. Yeah, Kenneth, you had a great game, but like... I don't know why we're hyping him up. Like, he's going to be able to do something here for us. Cause it's not going to happen. I'm only running the read, or the read option. The uh, Hail Mary here just to, you know, kind of... Wow, that didn't even work. Damn it. I tried to set my feet because Metcalf actually had a look, but took way too long to get that ball out. To be fair, if you run the wheel route, like, surely everyone will clear out of that left side and it'll be up to the linebacker one-on-one. -on -one. Damn it, dude. Almost picked. We are changing our ways. We are going to just run the screen pass and see what happens. Oh, come on, dude. I did run a little bit too far left rather than going straight after the cup, but really? We get tackled by a guy that got blocked. We trip over him. All right, so obviously the downside. We lose to the Chargers. Upsides, though. Not the worst game an okay defensive performance in certain aspects. Obviously, the ground defense was amazing. Uh, you know, some of the interior corner play was okay, but we definitely got beat deep a lot. We were definitely a little bit better in man than we were in zone. Uh, offensively, we actually had some looks. There was a couple of picks that we probably shouldn't have thrown. Ill-advised plays. Uh, you know, players, you know, plays where players weren't open, but still, you know, live to see another down. Don't throw the pick. Don't give the short field. Um... Ben, don't break defense at times. We did okay. You know, we did end up having a chance there near the end. And then, obviously, the biggest uh, thing positive that came out of this loss is obviously the superstar dev scenario of Kenneth Walker. Absolutely insane. Of course, Locke, pretty much half the pass heard into Verbert, which is really bad. Uh, rushing, of course, Kenneth Walker was great despite that fumble, which sucked. Eckler, we absolutely locked down, like we said. Uh, receiving Keenan Allen, dude. Oh, my. Lockett was decent. A couple plays for Walker, which got him to 150-plus total. Uh, Bo Melton uh, had a touchdown, a couple of decent catches underneath. Metcalf, same thing. A couple of nice jump ball plays, I suppose. Noah Fant was all right. Defensively, sack totals. One for Shelby Harris. They had a couple. They had a lot of pressures. JC and Derwin with picks. Tough, tough defense to pass on. But once again, not the worst performance overall. Not not terrible. Just the man we were looking for. Drew Locke, a br uh, breakout. A uh, rating up and a plus one to throw power, which puts him at 90. That's kind of big. It's kind of big. It's what I wish he said. Uh, of course, Tariq Woolen, we're going to go with more slot because i believe he's kind of equal in man and zone that won't be the case soon though oh wow that's a nice upgrade actually for you know a lower overall guy that's it's pretty nice 58 awareness 54 play rec you know he gained plus five to awareness there plus two to play rec daryl taylor i suppose even though he's not a starter we want him to be as good of a pass rusher as he can be plus one of finesse which puts him at 80 and of course the big one the big one the breakout. That's negotiations. The breakout. You see Kenneth Walker the third. I didn't know he had that type of talent. We asked him to carry the offense this week, and he delivered. Guy's an absolute stud. Super star development rate. 4K XP, which isn't really that significant, to be fair. But we will absolutely take that. Does he have a overall up? He does. Uh, what's actually... I think we did say we are going to go elusive until his, like some of his other ratings go up. So then the power back upgrades are a little more significant. As you can see, he gets an Excel, a Juke move, two spin, and an awareness, which is really nice. What is his ability? Second win. Wow, that's really good. Persistent, that's obviously useless. Reach for it, that's useless. Balance beam. I actually kind of like balance beam for him. Um, yeah, he doesn't have anything unlocked that's really juiced at the moment, so there's that. But overall, absolute dub of a week. You know, we, we played well enough going up against one of the titans of the league. And, of course, we got a dev up for one of our best, if not the best player on the team in Kenneth Walker. So, 
Lots to still be happy about. Three and four is not great, but it's still atop the division. I think even if the Rams and the Niners were to win. And you can't really be mad with that with a Seahawks uh, team. You know, almost halfway through the season, a top of the division at three and four is pretty good. It's pretty good. Going against the Giants, very winnable. Cardinals, I don't know if there's a team that can't beat them while Kyler Murray's out at this point. And then Tampa, we don't want to talk about. Anyways, though, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Jerome Care. Second channel, Care Plays for non and stuff. Uh, videos wise, you know, usually, you know, kind of gameplay, uh, like solo gameplay, like campaign games. Um, and yeah, twitch.tv slash you care for streams, which maybe will someday soon. And that is pretty much it. I'd say no more videos for today. I'd say this is probably the last upload of the day. Um, if not, maybe there's another one, but uh, I would say if you've seen two or three videos today, then it's probably the last one. And then tomorrow will be some sort of rebuild. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, uh, see ya.